a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese to die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. Ah! How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Pelagius the Third? Now, surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade <laughs> death! That's right! Death outlawed! Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear his voice? His tone? Damn! Is this your first? Is it your first time? <laughs> My God, man, that sounds kind of gay. Really? Oh, oh! What kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait! Uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah! Those are my favorites. Well. Spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But <laughs> seriously, what's the message? Where you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, ah! Huh? <laughs> the ghost of King Lysandes? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the <laughs> talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, Actually, think you can convince me to leave because that's crazy. You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Don't you mean to date for a lot? Wrong. Actually, you do, Sarto. I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. Damn. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> God. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wub Attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Alice in Wonderland? Wub Attack added? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. 
It's a very delicate state of mind. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Alright. That's something to crow about. Pelagius up and about. You're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Need something? Can't open it. C can't open it. It was more more as a joke than anything else. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead. Pumpernickel. Yeah, Pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out in the weakest part of his fragile The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but he's going to strength with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. My 
god. What the fuck am I doing? So if this is all the character the personality of this one person these these noble man or don't know what he was Oh good choice Well good for me I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining <laughs> you might find it less so You see Pelagius's mother was well let us say unique. unique although I suppose in the grand scheme of things she was fairly average for a septum that woman wielded fear like a cleaver or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid I never <laughs> get that part right it's here oh but she taught her son well Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere at any time delivered by anyone The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabajack to defeat the enemy while they do the same. You'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you helped him out. Sir. And we're that much closer to home. Well, that's it. Well, looks like it. Let me guess. And this madman is madness itself. In every man, in everybody's personality. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So. Congratulations! You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. What trouble Haskell can get into while well, I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take <laughs> care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. 
We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta ta! Man, that's a great quest. I mean, seriously. <laughs> it's like one of these what the fuck quests. <laughs> and I thought it was awesome. Really, it was awesome. Well... Look if I have something what I really don't need. A goblet, 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 goblet. Could I GS hip bone? Eh? A plate. Something nice. Burnt book, burnt book. They're all burnt books. There's nothing else here, right? No. Besides a, a bedroll. Alright, it was a date roll lord that was here. Sewers? Yeah, really, right. 
Never knew that they are, had screws back then. through solitude maybe you're looking to make some easy gold yes it's easy to find things to sell things nobody will miss things from underground or just left lying around in some just remember I'm here if you rethink your decision let me guess it's a thief spare some gold for Thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The gift of charity added. Let's sleep for a round. Welcome to the winking skeever, friend. Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. Heh. <laughs> They were smaller back then. <laughs> I think the Bard's College might be looking for recruits. You should speak to the head of the college, Viarmo, if you're interested. I've heard Jari Raz hanging around the Wells District, looking for new blood to hire. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Feel free to make requests. Oh, no. But being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever... Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps it. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. Let's sleep for six hours. <sighs> but this land is ours, and we'll see it white clean. Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. She's still saying. Down with Lorric, <laughs> the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. Only one is clapping? Hey, what the fuck? 
My controller is out. Some, something is wrong with my controller. Damn fucking shit. Wait a minute. I've got that right here. A moment. Alright. Everything is alright again. <sighs> Take lavender, some nice apple. History of the Empire, red robe. Could even take the drum here. Well, why is it counting as stealing, if I'm able to get that shit? You're even allowed to take the money in there. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know that I'm carrying too much. You and me. Welcome to the winking skeever frown. Take a look. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot sore. I have no business with you. Leave me. Just wanted to talk, you motherfucker. Yeah, come on, man. Don't pitch around. Delight. Another charm. Hello. Customer. Welcome to the center of the world. Finally. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, hmm. Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. We'll speak again. We must. 
Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't... Take a look. Thank the gods for the end of yet another Have you met my dear brother, Eriker? The man's as trustworthy as a Khajiit goldmonger. Why, hello, here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be... That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. 